Um, today we are talking about the architecture of the social web. First of all, a little introduction about who, who are we. We are a Swiss startup company and we have done quite few R&D work in the social architecture field for the past few years, a little bit more. Everything started back in 2004 when we were at university and we put up a social network for the campus at the university in Switzerland. So, and we work in the event field. Probably you are asking what have to do social architecture with events? Well, every event is a social gathering. So if we are building a, a event system, we need to really understand the, the concept behind social architecture. And we will see why the architecture is so important. So from, from yesterday, everybody knows about Twitter or this kind of graphs like Facebook, but things go back a few hundred years when the graph, graph theory started. And it's from Leonard Euler. Maybe some of you have heard of him. It's born in Switzerland, of course. <laughs> and uh, he, he had a great influence in many areas of mathematics. I think he wrote about 700 volumes in his life about papers of many things. It's one of the biggest uh, volume in mathematical research in many kind. And one of the thing was in uh, 1736, he wrote a small paper, that was a really small paper, addressing the problem of uh, Königsberg. In Königsberg, the, the city is crossed by a river, we will, you can see it, and there are areas of the city that are far apart. And there was this common problem in the, in the town where everybody was saying, is there a way to, to make a path across this bridge without having to go back on the same spot again? And he did a mathematical uh, proof that there, there weren't any path available. And this is not the good insight that came out of the paper, but it's the how it did it to demonstrate the problem. It represents the city as a graph. So the part of the city were nodes and the, 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 there were connections between edges between the nodes, connecting them. And this is the first graph that uh, we are aware of in mathematics. Um, the, the, the problem is that I think 100 years after they, they built they build a, a bridge, a further bridge that with that bridge was possible then to, to cross all the, the town without coming back on the same spots. And then tell you a, a little bit about the architecture behind a social network or a social graph is that the architecture is important because it's, uh, it's, it's thanks to architecture that you can do or not do something. It's, in that case, it was a bridge. Without that bridge, you couldn't do, achieve this. So sometimes in, in, in the graphs, when you, when you just add an edge or a connection between nodes, there, there can be th new things coming out. And we, we, will find, we, will, we will go through some theories during this, this little talk to show why these are so important. For example, not many, of, many people are aware, but in Facebook there are a lot of mathematicians, graph theorists, and sociologists working on it because the graph theory is pretty wide. Uh, there are um, many areas. I think it's one of the widest area nowadays, the graph theories, because it can go from medicine for example, they are applying it for cancer research because you can look at, it's a way of looking at a problem mainly. You can look at molecule, at node, and the chemical process happening to them as connection. So if you change something elsewhere and not just focuses on the molecule, you can make new opportunities come out. It's like, you know, with the classic, with the classic um, science, we, we try to, to divide and conquer. So we start from atom and then going, 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 going little. But we lost the, the we, we, we cannot put the pieces together. Graph theory is, is somehow trying to solve this big problem in nature. So the underlying architecture of social network is essential. It determines what we can or cannot do. So when we build a social application, this has to be taken into concept very well from the building up of the framework or the architecture we are dealing with. 
Then we go a bit further with Stanley Milgram, the socialist, is a professor at Harvard, I think he's still alive. Um, it's sort of to find the distance between any two people in the United States. Then there are some computation about wh what you achieve, but mainly say, what if we pick two, two random people in the whole United States, how many uh, connections there are between, between them? And it, it, it did that with, with, uh, with a mailing process. It sent, it chose a destination, people, I think, whoa, the, the two towns where, uh, where, where I've written them, I don't remember always. It's in Nebraska, Oana, and on Omaha, and uh, Wachita, uh, the other. They, they are really, really far, far towns, a country, uh, far, far in, uh, in the United States. And it choose randomly a destination guy, and it choose randomly some people that it, nobody he didn't know of them in, in the other t starting town. And he sent them a letter to say, hey, send this letter to this guy on that far away town. If you, if you really know him, just say, it, send it straight. If you don't, send it to an acquaintance that you think may be closer to him. And about, he sent about 265, something like that letter. About 65 arrived, and the 65 arrived demonstrate a, a, a distance between 5.5, so it approximately it to 6. The, from that, there is the 6 um, degree of separation that came out. It's not a word that is, is used, it's talking about small world. This is about a theory about small words that we all live in small world. We will, we will see that after that. And 6, six degree was, was, was a game that people, uh, students used to play at Harvard to see how far you are from uh, Kevin Bacon. So, yeah, <laughs> and, uh, and there, there, are, there are study with all the Facebook data that this is quite close to B6. Depend on the, on the graph you are studying, there can be higher or lower degree of separation. I think internet, it's, as, as a network, it's about 19% of separation, so you, you can go with nine, 19 click to anything on the web. Yeah. Let's that's, that's, that's tell you something interesting behind, is that the number of people doesn't count, but it's the, it's the number of connection between them. When, when we, let's say we build a social network or a community, w w there are people that always say, oh yeah, we, we have the user base growing. This doesn't tell you anything about the healthy of your social graph. Because you can have billions of people, but they are not interacting with them. The, this doesn't give you the healthy. It's the number of connection. And there are great companies that apply this like that. You know, when you click like it, you, you don't create a user, you just create a connection. The more connection the, you raise in a social graph, the, the, um, you lower, you lower the, um, the distance of separation that we talked before. And when you lower, we, you can go faster from one node to other. Uh, there is also one problem. If you, if you say, as a paradox, that we are one click away from anything, say, how can I find that? And there are some implications with semantic web in this kind of field. Then there is Mark Granovetter, Stanford University, I think he also teaches at Harvard. Um, he, he did a great study about the, oh, I see it. <laughs> he did a, a great study about the, the force in the weak ties. His paper is called The Force in the Weak Ties. And uh, because he, 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 he studied further the, um, the concept of small words, that we are in small words, he, he said that his, his theory was weak ties are more important than strong ties in our life. So our acquaintance give us more benefit than strong ties like family of, or parents or really close by people. Because these give you a connection to other small words. And in other small words, there are information you are not aware of. He did this by doing a research for getting a job, how people 
find a job in the United States. And uh, um, every, everybody that was questioned find a job through mainly through an acquaintance, not for a close friend or, or a parent. Mainly because in, in your small world, the information you know and you share between the nodes are the same. So, but if you, if you go on another step further in another world, you can bring new things in it. And this is something we are really applying for the events. And that's, you say, what does have to do with events? Events are the world of weak ties. Because when you go on an event, you create a lot of weak ties. You know a lot of new people that may maybe come out with a new collaboration, new customer, new whatever. Maybe you met your future wife, whatever can happen. But it's, it's, it's because you create weak ties. And that's something we are taking into, because when, when we analyze the event, we, we always had a lot of people that were talking, yeah, you know, the networking. We, we do a lot of networking and we try to, to nail this down, and at the end it was about the weak ties. So, that's, that's the small words that you, you are close by, and then the, the connection that bring. So, note graph and story today. Um, I give you uh, first what we are doing with, with, with our project. Really, really quickly we are building a web app, a web service for managing uh, events online. And because all the event system out there are basic on the old way of thinking of it as ticketing or registration system, they are not built upon a social architecture. So, and if you see every social network have events as a system, Facebook events, LinkedIn events, but they are really poor. They, they just provide basic things. You cannot manage events in there. Uh, so we, w that's what we are working on it, and we we face a few things, and that's how we are doing. So, Oana, it's of course it's it's a Joomla extension, but that's a really little part of it to to manage events on Joomla that we derived from from the big project we are doing in the company. And w what we're trying to try to do is not to recreate uh, profiles, but to merge all the graphs together. So, you know, if you are a Twitter, you can talk with someone from Facebook because there is graph going on. This is something possible thanks to OAuth. If you think about a few years ago, there was this open ID idea, but it never took it off. But with OAuth, everybody uh, uses OAuth to authentication. Twitter also passed to OAuth last, last year, I think, or two years ago. And... Um, and that's that's mean that you can bridge them all together. So I, I'll give you a little talk about Flavio. That that's that's the, the most technical part of it. That more, probably you, you can get bored a little. <laughs> but try your best. Definitely. Yeah. So getting a little bit more technical, um, being network centric means uh, connecting uh, to other web services. And um, this creates uh, uh, one of the biggest problems, which is authentication. Um, in the past, authentication was uh, done using basic HTTP uh, authentication, which means um, you have to give the, your username and password to the, to the service you want to use. So. Uh, if you wanted to use Facebook uh, with uh, integrating with Twitter, you have to give uh, Twitter the, your Facebook uh, username and password, which creates uh, some problems because uh, uh, the other service which um, you authenticate um, can do whatever whatever he wants. And in comes out, which uh, is a system, uh, a specification, uh, a standard that um, lets services. Uh, user authenticate to a service uh, in a special way. In fact, you, you don't give this password, your password to the service you are authenticating with, but your password that you get by you, you belong to. So if you, if you are attaching your Facebook uh, profile with a Facebook connecting to Twitter, uh, Twitter doesn't get access to, the, to the, your username and password. 
This is the system used by OANA. Um, we connect to a number of services, uh, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. And um, using a company we have developed, which is Come Out. Um, it is an open source company, and you can find it on GitHub uh, using Nuco Framework. Um, you can use this company on any Joomla site. And, uh, we have developed uh, a series of uh, components that uh, integrate with um, uh, a few well-known uh, social networks, uh, Twitter, Facebook, Yahoo, Foursquare, Google. And uh, these components can be used uh, in two ways, mainly. Um, getting information from the, the services and um, putting information on those. So. Uh, you can, for example, uh, search uh, your contacts or uh, uh, their avatars, which places have you been, for example, on Foursquare. And you can send information to those services, for example, uh, communicating with those uh, contacts you have fetched on Twitter, Facebook. Uh, you can send em uh, emails using Gmail servers and uh, in general interact with the services and use the services they provide. And uh, on the other hand, you can uh, also uh, work as a service and offer uh, uh, functionalities to other, other websites, uh, exposing them via API, which is a simple thing using, for example, Nuco. And uh, you can easily create uh, iPhone apps, uh, Android apps, uh, or uh, letting others play with uh, the functions you, you provide. We, we we just go over it's it's we didn't want to have a profile profile it's something that it's getting boring you know you have every time you have to create a profile again to enter a system so why not just use the information you have you know so instead of making uh, if we say this this can be a social network you create for example with community builder or other system and th that's that it's it's a almost close community, even if you, have, you can have connect, but the profile relies in there. What, what if your profile, it's whatever it is, it can be your Facebook profile, your Twitter profile, it doesn't have to stay there. And when you, when you, when you just update your Facebook profile, or your password and things are just the same, so you don't have to, to repopulate something again. That's what, what we are doing. And we are contributing to, to Nuku framework for this, we have, we have made a proposal in the incubator and uh, probably to, to bring this kind of OAuth functionality at a framework level. Um, here there are some interesting books if, if you are interested in researching and reading for, for, further about the topic. And um, the, the latest, it's, it's, it's a collection of all the um, academic papers about that. It's, it's pretty interesting stuff. Uh, we also have released uh, on GitHub all the, the OAuth protocol we did for Nuku, and you can, get, you can download them straight, straight there. So it, it, it was a really short presentation that we tried to give you some insight about something that it's on the mouth of every, everybody, but it's, it has a long story behind. You know, if Facebook is what it is right now, it's because there are more than 200 stories of research on, on the field. And if you apply that correctly, you can emerge and you can really take advantage of this. You know, having, having a social platform is not just say, I have a friend. That's just one connection. And that maximum you can have, it's it's really get easy to get, so it, it, does, it, does, it doesn't grow the social graph. And growing social graph, again, is, is not growing the people in it, but it's growing the interaction, the sharing, and everything, and facilitate everybody to, to be more close to something. You can apply this also to object. In fact, the Internet of Things is something that is hardly related to, strongly related to, 
to the graph theories. And so somehow Facebook is also an Internet of Things thing because you interconnect a lot of things like video, website, and you, you can like anything. So you're in con interconnecting not only people, but more things. In Facebook, all, all these connections are always started, for example, initiated by someone. So the, the, factor, the human factor is there. But things can interconnect to each other. For example, using semantic web things. So maybe we can have some, some, some open talk or chat or question or about whatever you want. This, this is not a solution. Uh, this, this is not a solution. We are just putting out the OAuth things, Authenticator. Yeah, there are many libraries that can use OAuth. Of course. Yeah. Yeah, of course. We, we have all, we, what library? We, I don't remember all the library, but I think we have Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, Google, so you can go, use Google bots, I think Foursquare. Then you can you can easily do your own because it's a plugin. You see, you, you write a plugin for for the OAuth to use Goala, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, depend what what you want to do. We are we are not trying to delink with um, bring this to to a Joomla. Or, or Nuku in the thing, it's just to, to open possibility about what you are developing. Because uh, we, we, we tried, when we start project one, we, we partnered with the, with the guys from Anaita, that was almost two years ago, when they even weren't in Alpha, because we also developed a lot in that direction. And their architecture was, was the closest to, to what we wanted to achieve in the vision. Uh, the problem is that every project that it's it's complex and big, uh, it's it's hard to adapt to heavily adapt it to something. So uh, we we created with with Anaita the first actor node that was for events and was Oana was back one years ago, and helping them leverage the the the, the framework of Anaita. Uh, another thing about Anaita for developer it's 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 a bit hard to get into it because you have to get grasp things like domain driven design and uh, of course nuku framework so it, it, it's it's not an it's something for everybody and um but but the point that we 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 didn't went further with that but we rewrote everything from sketch is that a social architecture for events for the web application we are doing uh, have to be designed from scratch so we, we did experience a little bit there. We help them. We we provide a, 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 an event node for for Anita, and that's that's mainly what was it. But for Joomla, you know, it, it, it's when you say I want a module that maybe a Facebook connect. Yeah, but that's pretty easy. It's just you are connecting. The thing is what you are doing with this connection, that that leverage. For example, communication in, in events can be simple. You say you say I can connect with uh, I'm not in this. I, I register to the event through Twitter or through Facebook or through, and then then it's what you do with that. We use the graphs as media mainly. So if you are an attendee and you say I want to communicate, let's say send a message to all my attendees, hey guys, there are problem with weather, postpone the event to tomorrow. What you are doing is just say send a message to attendees. And if I'm a, I'm a, an attendee is connected through Facebook, it will receive a Facebook message. If, uh, if an attendee is connected with Twitter, it will receive a Twitter message, and so on. You, you can, without you having to care about anything. So it's about what you do with the graphs. It's uh, really impressive because we closed the, the first private alpha of the service that took, was about in January and was less than a month, about three weeks. We, we, we just invited 
a little bit less than 60 people in from starting. And after three weeks, we interconnected th more than th 37,000 people in three weeks' time. And uh, the, uh, so we, we have to close it because it's, we <laughs> it was going to, be, to, to explode a, bit, a little bit. So we have to go back to, to scratches and write things again from, from that, that up. But it's, it's really depending what you're doing. You know, if, you, if you see, we are really focused on the events. So we are, we are adapting all the social graph technologies and concepts to the events fields because we, we, we really believe that it's one of the main areas where they can apply really good. And, um, and, um, and there are many things like communication, for example, is just once, but there are so many things that you can share. Also people, you know, need to share things amongst them. Like uh, we are doing something with, with things, event of things, like, you know, at events there are slides that maybe can be on slide share or uh, there are uh, um, hashtags on Twitter so people can keep communication or maybe a live stream. So uh, we try to interconnect the event with, with all this metadata and information and files out there. So depend, and the nice thing is that we, with the data we collected, we overlaid the, the, the Facebook graph, the Twitter graph and LinkedIn graph. It was pretty amazing, interesting results. <laughs> yeah. 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 One, one, needs, one needs to connect people. You know, we, we always say, we always felt using probably also Facebook or LinkedIn or other system that um, when I create a, an event on Facebook, it, it really came on reality something different than it was on Facebook. So there are maybe 200 people that say, I'm attending. And uh, at the end, the end, there are 50 people that from these 50 people, two were saying I'm attending on Facebook, the other came arrived from other place. And there are also people that are not on Facebook, and there are also people that are on other system. And why those cannot attend the same event without having to be on that platform? This is one thing we are doing. Uh, another, because there are a lot of problems, we, we are trying to bridge them out because we cannot solve all of them. One other, one other problem is that when you create an event that is mainly a, a year event or a month event can be like the job for example the job today is because of the job of last year and next year will be thanks to the previous two editions so you are building something on top it's like you know there are past attendees and and the cloud of the people that are around the event grow and what happens when you go online and you create an event every time you do start you have a blank page and this doesn't reflect reality because the event is not a blank page. Well, the first time you start it can be. But then if you grow it, it's not a blank page anymore. It's just an history behind it. So this is something we are trying also to, to keep in, in, uh, in mind. And of course, we, that one of the reasons we are, we, are, we are using Nuku framework for that, it's because of its REST APIs capability, and the uh, next steps will of course be mobile or desktop application to manage it direct your event. And one idea is to, to later bring Joomla version for, for events that is not fully installed on your, um, on your, on your Joomla install, but it uses the APIs of the web service. So you can, you can use your API keys to populate your event in Joomla. And if you have the same events that you have to put it on multiple pages, you can simply attach to them and you can manage them with a desktop application or iPhone application. But it, it takes a lot of time. <laughs> so we reached just this private alpha after 
more than two years of hard work. And uh, so we, that's why we decided to, to do a little pivot and release a smaller version for Joomla to also give something back there. And we are keeping pushing harder on the other side. We, we, we won't solve any events problem because this is impossible. We, we, are, we, all, we tried to target mainly small, medium event. We really don't interested in big corporate or huge events. Um, don't know if you know Amiando. Amiando was a service like even Bright, European service. It was enterprise targeted. It just been bought by um, Xing. Yeah, and this makes sense because Xing is is a professional social network, so it can make sense to have an enterprise level service melted to it. But it, it didn't have, again, on a social architecture. Even Bright also doesn't have anything. It's just a registration system or ticketing system. It's, it's good for what it does. That is the, ma the main th issues in, in, the events, in the event industry, is that there are so many things horizontally that you have to sell tickets, you have to manage registration, maybe collect some data, you have to engage, you have to communicate and use social media. You have to set up a blog and write blog about about it and so many other. And hardly all of these integrated each other. If you take even Bright, it's a it's it's really used everywhere. They have APIs, but the APIs for a ticket don't have a callback. So how can you can can you can you build on top of it? You know, I, I can just it's okay if I have an iframe, but that's not integrated. You know, API are, 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 are a bit more than, than for having this kind of thing. Thank you. Thank you.